Welcome to Monday on Monday, where I am long on thoughts, but sequestered from time. But sequestered, 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 sequestered from time. Is it just me, or when things are uncertain, it's the right time for Mr. Rogers? And he's had quite the resurgence the last couple years. <laughs> it's like we knew we would need to hear from him again. In these days of quarantine, reading the news, barely being able to sit still, I was fortunately reminded of his timely quote that, when I was a little boy and I would see scary things in the news, my mother would say to me, look for the helpers. You will always find people who are helping. Mm. Anyway, uh, anything that is truly good, not nice, but good, embraces the bad, makes actionable our worries, and simply asks us to participate in the hope coming from it. Usually this good comes from the margins, the hard work, acting in the shadows, not seeking the limelight. Right now, that good, those helpers, are healthcare workers and first responders. Now, I'm acutely aware of this living in New York City, and unfortunately, more and more of us are also each day. It makes me think, how do we participate in that hope with them? <laughs> Why is it so hard to sit on the sidelines? I think about those movies of the little guy just trying to get a break. Rocky, Rudy, Tom Cruise. It's so easy in our modern pop culture narratives, as well as in some of our ancient ones, to put ourselves in the shoes of these women and men trying to take on the formidable odds, like David and Goliath. We see ourselves as David, undersized, outmatched, slingshot versus bronze javelin. But not this time. This time, my and most of our call is to stand on the sidelines, six feet apart, cheering and actively supporting our healthcare workers and first responders. In this, we participate in the hope coming from their work. Donate to those causes, stay at home. Heck, in a time when production companies are on pause, rewatch or finally watch that great show or movie that celebrates their Davidic-like work. Their work, challenge, victory. That is then imputed to us all. For when they heal our neighbors, brothers, sisters, maybe even you or me, we are all being healed. <laughs> and that's awesome. Anyway, as a shameless plea, what are some of your favorite medical movies or shows? MASH, Patch Adams, Dr. Giggles? Let me know. I'd love to slow myself down and participate in the hope, in the good happening in our hospitals, converted convention centers, ships, parks even. And lastly, let's keep in touch. Call one another, say hi. And when you're in a large group Zoom call, for the love of Pete, when you're not talking, please press the mute button. Mute means never having to say you're sorry for all the noise in the background. And that's my Monday. Now back to yours. Jenny, I, I'm sorry. Don't.